he stood by his convictions. And not only did he deliver on the floor, you see all the championships that he had for the Celtics. Again, such an esteemed franchise, one of the, the winningest franchises in all of the history of pro sports. And he was at the heart of that. And, but he also was, was very much an advocate for equal rights. And he was very vocal about that. And what's interesting about that tripper, and I've seen this myself, is sometimes when you are just trying to create a sense of equality and fairness and decency and humanity um, and or defend yourself, sometimes some people misconstrue that and then they're going to say that you're problematic. So they, there's a lot of these different buzzwords. They'll say that it's problematic or um, they're aggressive or they're uppity or they think they're too smart. I mean, those are code words for the fact that you don't like the fact that they know that you're wrong and they're telling you that you're wrong more often than not. And if you think of that, that era too, for him in basketball, I mean, hoops is very different now than it was then. Mm -hmm. And a lot of these players, a lot of the sports, a lot of the franchises owe a lot of gratitude to people like Bill Russell and what he was able to do with that Celtics team. Red Arbach too, who had the open-mindedness. Red, Ar Red Arbach at that time had the open-mindedness and not all of Boston, which is an incredible, incredible city. And you know that so well, based on, you know, you going to Harvard and playing college hockey there. It's an, it's an amazing city. It's a historic city. I love Dean Town. I love going there, but it hasn't always had the smoothest race relations, even though it's such a, international city which is hard to consider so all that to say for him at that time let alone at any time too to be such a visible figure such a great player champion how many times numerous times of the boston celtics and yet still not only during his playing career but post playing career stand up for what he believes in you just heard him the other day again who when he was applauding the athletes and the players for for standing up and and saying hey listen all we want is to be treated fairly and he had the guts under again the most trying of circumstances in ironically what is a very international multicultural city like boston but always hasn't been the most harmonious in terms of those different um cultural backgrounds and for him to stand up a, i mean for years so he was an advocate before it was even cool and long before it was considered to be uh, the right thing to do or contemporary. And as a man of his height and as a black man of his height and his stature, uh, for him to, to be that from then until now, he's been fighting that fight a very long time.